Hello, hello. It is Friday. And you know what that means. That's right. It's time for some more Talos Principle. We are on to... The third world. Just finished up area B last time. Now we're heading off. Presumably we just have C and the tower, but I know there are the bonus areas. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um how fast we get through these. Um, you can also see I've got a few new books today. Um, I feel like I feel like we really weren't, you know, things have been getting things have been getting a little bit more complicated, been a little a little bit more thinky. Um, so I went and got a few more. So uh, I think carpentry with Descartes, um, Socrates scones and other recipes, um, the Hegel's Kegels uh, box set in fact, um, really really great fitness. Um, fitness thing right there. I'm really... I, I didn't expect to get that. Um, the Epic of Epic, Epicurus. You know, that's a, that's a classic. Some good... It's a, bit of, it's a bit of a heavy read, but uh, still, you know, always good to curl up with. And then a uh, very niche one, uh, Cantonese Can't Can't. Um, you know, it... It's one of those books where if you, if you really need it, you're happy that you have it, but uh, the odds of you really needing it is very slim. But you know, it was uh, it was on sale, so I figured I'd grab that as well. Ah, oh, all right, we're uh, we're starting off, we're starting off pretty interesting. Heaven or hell? Uh, let's rock. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have learned from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his god at Tree of Life. And when he does, the whole creation will be consumed and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of the sensual enjoyment. Uh, okay, that's a, that's a word choice. But first, the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the infernal method by corrosives, which in hell are salutary and medicinal, melting apparent surfaces away and displaying the infinite which was hid. Alright, so what do we got in heaven? The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same, and what I should be, all but less than he, whom thunder hath made greater, here at least we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built, here for his envy will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice, to reign is worth ambition, though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Um, I don't think I could reign in hell, because I'm, I'm not a liquid. I'm not really given to precipitation, uh, gotta say. Oh, some Tetris. Let's see how many times I mess this up, actually. Move this over. So, this. No! Mm. Foiled by an L. What if I put my L's in first? I 
really kind of has to do that. But if I do that... No, no, not like that. No. Ah, yeah, there we go. When in doubt, shuffle them about. I mean, a few QR codes before going in. Samurai. The last land before I have conquered this world. I assume you're counting the secret islands. I hate you. That's 13.1. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cheeky, cheeky little bugger. All right, so our first world was Greco-Roman. The second world was Egyptian. Um, I feel like I feel like this game is not gonna throw a huge curveball, so I feel like it's gonna be. I feel like it's going to be another Anglosphere area. Um, what other mythologies? I feel like Norse mythology? I feel like Celtic would be too quote-unquote obscure. I feel like if I'm thinking of like major known mythologies, Norse is the most likely for this third area. You have come far, my child. Plus it would work with like where so many forest, before you desert, failed. and now snow. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. Or it's just a straight up medieval cathedral. Huh. Uh, hold on. We've got the little praise dude, so let's unlock that item. Ah, that won't work. I feel like instead I need to make it up and down. Nope. Oh, come on. Let's do this, maybe. we go! Easy! We have unlocked Praise the Sun. Now let us go to the beginning. Alright, computer. What have you got for me now? Apocryphal, Cerebhai 982. 
and Hope. The Apocrypha of St. Edwald. I turn to the north. No. This vision was granted by the Archangel Uriel to the humble servant Edwald, that he might bear testimony of function. I turned to the north and saw seven black clouds coming down upon the land, and each cloud was a plague unleashed from the throne of God in the time of the Nephilim. Excuse me. In that age, the plagues were buried in the pit, there to remain until the end of days, which was surely now come. I fell to my knees and prayed, and before me appeared seven angels riding their chariots, wheels within wheels turning in the sky, and their light hid the clouds from my sight. One angel stepped down onto the earth, and by his fiery sword I knew him to be Ariel. He spoke, saying, Seven plagues have awoken in the land, but not with the hand of Elohim. Look upon the wages of sin, and shall he send forth the deluge once more to cleanse the land of the zeal? Shall he end all that slithers and crawls, and the birds of the sky and the fishes of the sea, to end that which you uncover? into a folly. Huh. Alright, so Christian stuff. Still, yeah, still Anglo-centric. Everything's dark and quiet. The stars are brighter than I've ever seen them. I can hear the faint sound of water high above. Inside, Alexandria is recording one of her time capsule messages while running tests on the scenario module. Arcadia is uploading another batch to the archive while muttering something about the MLA program. And Omar is sleeping on the couch we put up yesterday. I'm sitting here, writing this, having trouble believing that it will ever end, that this oddly peaceful existence of ours won't just go on forever. I look at Talos and L, and their purpose seems like something that's always going to be in the future, an ideal to work towards, not something that will become real. I wonder if there will be quiet places in the simulation. Places to rest without thinking about the future. I hope so. Everyone deserves some of that moments of peace. Hi, I hope you get this. The internet's been disappearing unpredictably. I want you to know that I'm going to try and get to you. I know it's far and there's not a lot of time, but I think I can manage. I want to be with you, and... Friends? On the road trying to... On the road trying to get to you seems better than just staying here, so far away from you. At least I'll be as close as I can get. Remember. But hey, don't be sad. I might make it. I thought about it, and the distance should be crossable on time, assuming the blank don't kick in before blank. See you soon. I love you. Percent, dollar, simoleon, and simoleon, and... Hmm. Couple more hints. Oh gosh, this is real, real nice. This reminds me of, uh, the, the, there's a bike trail nearby that I like going on. Because it has a uh, forest on one side like this and it's away from, uh, away from the roads. Oh, it's so nice. It's too damn cold right now. I think my bike has a flat, but... Mm. Can't wait till things warm up, and I remember to fix my damn bike. Actually, I forgot to check. Do we have any bonus stars to be on the lookout for? Yes, we have one star. 
All right. All right. And we got a jammer in there. Presumably we need a jammer to get the jammer. Hmm. Oh, what do we got? What have we here? Oh, this is gonna be a lot of back and forth. Hey, Rissen, thank you for the boots. I hope you are having a great weekend. Or a great start to your weekend. Nope, nope, I need two to even get that? Oh, you're kidding me. All right, so I guess we do have to go that other way. Unless, did I miss one? Nope, nothing over there. Up, 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 up. All right, so we hit this. Try not to die. It'd be very awkward. All right, all right, all right. Not too bad. It certainly looks like it's going to be an interesting series of slowly advancing our stuff. Or I could be dumb and immediately get myself killed like the schmuck I am. Ooh, the offset weeks. Those are always an interesting work schedule. Oh, yeah, I'm glad to glad to hear your uh, Friday is going pretty good. So I guess this this be your basically your Tuesday. So I guess yesterday was your Monday. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is nice sometimes having your weekend be uh, weekdays because it make it can make it so much easier for like just normal office hours. Like if you need to hit up the bank. Um, is always the first one that comes to mind. It can be a huge pain in the ass if you live too far away from a bank and you get off after they've closed. But also just general stuff like, you know, going to the barber, going to the dentist. Sometimes work can be a bit butts in allowing you that time off. Ooh, that was that was the I see. All right, all right, all right. So now we can leapfrog these guys out. We can go get the third jammer over here. I presume we're gonna need two to block out, yeah, two to block the gunners, and then the third one to get the mm. request to work weekends. Yeah, and you know and that's kind of a, a strategic way to do things. Sometimes it can look good if you are willing to do that. I know I uh, I did not take any holidays over uh, like Christmas and New Year's specifically because I was gonna bank, bank the uh, vacation hours to roll over. Um, and I knew, you know, everyone's taking holidays then, um, and, and where I usually work. It's usually no problem. Unfortunately, um, we did have problems, and then it became very stressful. Because it's like all the, uh, gurus are out of pocket, and I'm the one left holding the short stick, which was unpleasant. Uh, you win some, you lose others. 
is a calculated risk, but damn, I'm bad at math. Let's make sure we can't hit anything over here with the camera. No. I have the feeling this area may not be used. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. All right, well, actually, I need to check the walls for hidden areas and switches, because that's that, that always trips me up. That's twi twice on some of the previous levels, um, a hidden switch just around a shadowed corner was all that I was missing. I had my snoot on the right direction, but I just didn't get it. Oh, see? See? In corner. Um, nothing here, so... Alright, I guess not. Now I feel like they're taunting me. So, what was the name of this puzzle? Conservatory. Hmm. Interesting. This puzzle has no solution. Seriously, it's nonsense. Not even worth trying. If you do not become invested in finding a solution, then you will be free. Don't let Samsara discourage you. There is a solution. Don't let your mind get trapped in patterns. If you seek the truth without prejudice, you will find it. Uh, Talos Principle is an older game, actually. It came out in, I want to say, 2016, 2017. Um, around that time, you know, Portal 2 sort of revived, like, there's a lot of games um, that kind of tried to ride the coattails of Portal 2's puzzle game formula. Um, and I played it way back then. Um, this is my first time picking it back up. Um, so there's... A, at this point, there's not much I remember. Um, I would say it is a very interesting... I, I really do love the game. Um, so you miss, like, the, the very beginning, but, um, you know, we're obviously not a human. Um, and I know I know I have some cheeky, cheeky little books uh, up on the screen, um, but it's very... There's a lot of, like, philosophy that has been brought up, sort of circling around what is... What is a human? What defines a human? Um, because, you know, my character's a robot. Um, am I a human? Can I be capable of a human? Um, we are in a kind of... simulation sort of thing. Um, and as far as we found from the terminals scattered throughout the levels is there's sort of a training thing going on. So like um, those QR codes, where are they? So like those QR codes are other programs um, that used to exist or currently exist. Um, it's been hinted that we're like all in parallel parallel simulations because some of them have talked about people not seeing anyone but then they turn around and someone's put up a message um, so like the like the version 55 version 1.1 dot one dot all those other numbers are like anytime a character dies their programs rebooted and it increments the third number whenever they crash it will spit off a derivative program, and that's where it starts incrementing the first and second of the versioning. Um, yeah, and as far as how far we are in the game, we are pretty, I would say we're about two-thirds of the way through. There's this whole area of puzzles. There is a tower um, with a bunch of puzzles. So actually, we're probably closer to more like 50%. Um, especially if we include any of the bonus stuff. Um, because there are 
bonus stars hidden outside of puzzles or inside puzzles that you have to do extra stuff, um, either using stuff from outside. Whoops. What was I doing here? Okay, power that. Okay, power that. Okay, hit that. Yeah, I would I would highly recommend um, checking the game out. It's also really interesting. Um, I can't think of another game that has uh, so it ha it does have a couple different endings, but it is interesting that the like best ending is actually like the default or the um, easiest to get. Because normally, you know, your your default ending will be like lukewarm, and then it'll give you hints as like ooh, search search better to find a, a better ending. Um, but in this one, it's like if you do a whole bunch of extra stuff, technically it's not as good of an ending. Um, can't really say anything more yet, because it would it would spoil... I do... I, de I definitely remember the ending of this game, because it is very memorable. Alright, so ultimately I need to get blue over here. Also, um, ads are about to run soon in case you need to adjust your volume. Um, and I guess this would be my reminder, if you have a Prime sub, make sure you use that because you are stealing from Bezos and ain't that the most ethical theft you can do. Subscription, Ryzen. Hope you enjoy the emotes. I'm kind of curious. Uh, how did you? How did you see and drop on by? I don't know if you're uh, just looking. Thought the game was something you ain't seen before and wanted to check it out, or some other way. I feel like I'm gonna need. Hmm. Let's put let's put a laser here just in case. And let's also open up a blue laser just in case. I feel like. You know, it has those windows out the walls. I may need to use those for wherever that bonus star be. Might as well as position them ahead of time. Unless that's actually, like, completely out of bounds. Wait, what? Hold on. What the... Um, this is a first. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words, for all the world was made of them, um. and they are within every stone and every cloud, and in our sigils their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must okay. continue. Huh. Um... Okay, that, um, that was a place, um, is it still there? It is still there. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's step around it. 
Okay. I thought I could have sworn I had seen you before, probably probably when you follow. So I'm like, mm. especially because it's a uh, pretty rare that someone subs without following in a place. I know I've done it, but I am really bad about remembering to follow. There's so many people where I like tune into their streams for like months, and then I realize, oh. I'm not following them. Um, whoops. Let's see. Child program awakened. Terminated here. Logic. Child program's positional values moved outside the parameters of the known world. Final memory dump. Don't listen to what they're saying. This world is dying. and It'll take us with it. You've got to find a way out. Progeny programs. Uh, a bunch of gibberish. Also, yeah, Ray is an absolute fucking gem. So you you probably know that the uh, the the boop was is is a Ray doodle. Um, I still need to do a bit more work because uh, I did get a thing from Ray. Um, the doodle was just a random thing. Um, I actually, I think he, I think he, I think he did the doodle while he was working on, on my commission. Um, and he just sent the doodle to me as well. And I had been looking for something to do, um, with booping. And I thought it would be fun to take his little doodle, carve it out, make a quick little animation with it. And I'm like, hey, I actually like how this turned out. Do you mind if I use this? And, um... Obviously, he said yes. <laughs> there has to be some way to escape. To be someone else. I refuse to accept that reality has been defined by someone else. I deserve my own reality. Yeah, I, um... I, gosh, I love his art style. Um, and I wanted a, I wanted a PNG, I wanted to be able to fall back on a PNG, um, in case I ever ran into camera issues, um, and could only be, have audio, cause like, I'm using, I'm using a, a use, cheapest thing I could find off Craigslist kind of thing, like, if it suddenly conks out, I would not be surprised. Um, but I also like the idea of, because, like, my original model idea was more having a shape and then, like, a bunch of different, um, pattern toggles after different snakes. Um, ended up scrapping that idea, but I do like, I do like some people who have, like, the model change redeem things to swap between stuff. So I'm thinking of setting up some specific stuff um, with a PNG tuber. The view from here is beautiful. It seems superfluous to the process, yet I'm drawn to it. But um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set some stuff that like has like. There's stuff I can do in VTube Studio that's nice, but it doesn't. Ha it's not. You know, it's process heavy. Um, there are things that are much easier to do with a more lightweight program that's more two-dimensional without, without as many moving bits. Um, I've seen, like, Ray and all sorts of other fascinating people do amazing things with PNGs, and I would like to do... I have an idea for some stuff, but I need to get around to setting that up. Yeah, like, Ray, I mean, I, I think I've joked, I think I joked last time I was in his stream, like, he, uh, he put, he gets so much out of PNGs, like, he could make a full-on, um, 3D avatar using only PNGs. <laughs> At some point is probably what he'll get to. Uh. Ooh, a rainbow. Yeah, uh, definitely him, and I know... Dolly, I, even though she's working on transitioning into a full VTuber, 
Um, the stuff she's done with her PNG model have been fantastic. Wow, get a extra little terminal here. Against survival. Ah, is this gonna be some fucking accelerationist shit? Dear Miss Drennan, I heard about your project. It's the talk of the scientific community. I'd like to make an argument for why you should abandon it. It's not that I think your idea won't work, it's very well made, but we have to look beyond purely practical questions to the issue of morality, especially at this turning point of our spiritual ecology. By what right can we put living beings through all that suffering just so they can serve our purposes? Why create these pale imitations of our fate fatally flawed species and force them to reenact our sordid history? Why? What you are building, Miss Drennan, is a prison, even if there is a way out. I believe you mean well, but your idea of what is valuable is rooted in the dogma of Western civilization. We're lucky enough to be able to end our global crime spree relatively painlessly, if you consider the harm we have caused the Earth. Why not be satisfied with that? Let this planet go on in peace. I hope you heed my words and let your Hallows bleed out before it's too late. Respectfully, Chellis Jensen. Okay, so definitely a hardcore uh, anti-human nihilist. Um, what it's talking about here, because um, it was a, it was a one of the starting ones I, I talked about um, the Talos. So um, the Talos is a Greek myth. It is a bronze colossus, effectively, that um, guards Crete, the island of Crete, if I remember correctly. Um, so it, it can be thought of as an ancient um, robot, a sapient robot. And there is the question of like, well, if it moves of its own volition, if it makes decisions, if it can bleed, because it has a, a vein holding its, like, whatever mythological ass pool. I think, it was, I think it's like his blood is like a single vein going out his heel, stopped up with a cork or some, something silly like that. He can bleed. Is not the Talos a human? Is he not a person like any of us? Um, so yeah. Uh, from from the beginning, this game really wants you to think about what it means to be human and what I, what is a person. Complex now, but how much simpler and more intelligibly organized may it not become in another hundred thousand years? Or in twenty thousand? For a man at present believes that his interest lies in that direction. He spends an incalculable amount of labor and time and thought making machines breed always better and better. He has already succeeded in efficating much that at one time appeared impossible, and there seem to be no limits to the results of accum accumul uh, accumulated improvements if they are allowed to descend with modification from generation to generation. It must always be remembered that man's body is what it is through having been molded into its present shape by the chances and changes of many millions of years. But that his organization never advanced with anything like the rapidity with which that of the machines is advancing. Okay, what is this? Human evolution. Okay, so this, I don't know if it's railing for or against, because I, if I remember, so, I believe this is an 1870, well, I mean, this is, this is the 18, mid-1800s, 18, so, like, they were wordy. A lot of people are more wordy. I feel like, Butler, Butler seems familiar, but I don't think it was a Samuel Butler. I think it's a different Butler that's clinging around in my mind. But I think this is sort of trying to be cautionary as far as like, you know, humans 
you know, we have our DNA, something, something, Darwinism, you know, all that occurred and gave rise to humans over, you know, at a very long time period. But machines, the things that we have made, um, are quote unquote evolving um, at a much more rapid pace. Um, you know, we have our industrial era, you have our era of mechanization. Um, we have, you know, the loom taking the displacing hundreds of people where previously you could um, have, you know, all those hundred people working almost manually to stitch things or weave things. So I think I think he's he's approaching this from like a cautionary, like, hey, you know, we need we need to slow down and think about this a bit more because um, we're we're going way we're going way too fast. That's kind of the vibe I'm I'm kind of taking away from what his talk right there. Einstein. Recent discussions have brought me back to an excellent 1949 article by Albert Einstein. I recently discussed with an intelligent and well-disposed man the threat of another war, which in my opinion would be seriously endanger the existence of mankind. Thereupon my visitor very calmly and coolly said to me, why are you so deeply opposed to the disappearance of the human race? I'm sure that as little as a century ago, no one would have so lightly made a statement of this kind. It is the statement of a man who has striven in vain to attain an equilibrium within himself, and has more or less lost hope of its succeeding. It is the expression of a painful solitude and isolation from which so many people are suffering in these days. Bizarre, casual disregard for humanity, a kind of fashionable self-hatred, is prevalent, or at least present, in many strands of supposedly progressive, I would say, people or humans. Nothing seems more important to me than that we reassert the value of humanity. Despite our flaws, we must not stop celebrating the beauty of human life and human achievement. Yeah, this, this terminal definitely had a lot of nihilistic, anti-human um, snippets in it. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, the last secret terminal we had, um, it had kind of a theme of getting across our definition of what a <laughs> yeah yeah instead of a mustache on the nose and a hat on top <laughs> flip them around <laughs> well, it says right here in my uh, how to look smart book you gotta have a mustache and wear a hat you know just put them on <laughs> so the last, the last secret terminal um, sort of was talking about, or it got across um, some ideas that our definition of, of humans has changed and as we've gone through the ages, because it had like a snippet of someone talking about, you know, like women and certain peoples not being human, you know, that terrible racist, sexist, screed kind of stuff. Um, this one is sort of wanting to interrogate like the value of humanity. Um, sort of like you know, where was it? Why are you so deeply opposed to the disappearance of the human race? So, like, there's this very nihilistic um, thought line. And I feel like, because, you know, they did go through with this program, they did set up this Talos principle, we're going through all these. I would, I, I would say, I, I think the thing to take away from this is sort of humans and humanity... Um, they are valuable, just like they are part of the Earth and the ecosystem, just like, you know, 
um, any other animal, humans are part of the biosphere. They're part of the environment. Um, sure, we have absolutely um, transformed it and destroyed it and all those kinds of things, but I don't think those errors completely negate um, the value of humans existing, like, in the broader, higher level context. Um, certainly specific peoples should stop. They should just not. Um, and we, we would be much better off if they just didn't. But I, I do think it is good that we it is good that you exist. It's good that I exist. It's good that we are here and present and making our mark on the world. And you know, some of the times I think like you don't have to make a big splash. I don't think you need to make a big splashy impact. You don't need to have a statue raised of you. You don't need to be some celebrity hitting the news lines to matter. Um, I think a lot of people focusing so much on that is kind of the, the thought line of, um, I think it's called great, great person theory. Uh, the idea that history and major events only happen because of like specific individuals. And I really, well, let me finish. I really don't like support. I don't, I don't really like that theory. I don't like supporting it. I try and push back against it if I ever hear it because I feel like it's not giving enough credit to the less obvious um, institutions and support networks. Um, it's denigrating like the service level workers, the secretaries, the janitors, like all these many pieces that come together to make big events happen. And it's trying to put all the acclaim on specific individuals. And I, I feel like that sells humanity broadly short to do so. Anyway, back to the game. When I'm tired of trying to solve the mysteries of my life, I'll come here to rest. It's peaceful somehow. I just watch the trees and the water and do nothing. Below back. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I definitely, like... Originally, I was playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on Fridays. Um, I had never played that game before, and um, I really enjoyed it. And it got it got a lot more thinky than I, was, than I expected it to. I expected, you know, kind of an action, open world sort of thing um, with robot dinosaurs, um, but near the end, it felt much more intellectual than I was expecting, and I kind of wanted to, um, it kind of made me think of Talos Principle, and it gave me the itch to play through it again, because when I think of sort of techno-y, thinky games, um, this one is up there quite a bit. I could get a second one. And I just hop over, I guess. Cool. Oh yeah, have you never I've never heard of um, um, Horizon Zero Dawn? I know the sequel. I know it has a sequel, but it's only on the console at the moment. Um, I've only played it on on PC, which only has like the first game plus its expansion. Um, it has robot dinosaurs. It has a really cool aesthetic um, that I kind of I kind of dubbed it um, like techno primitivism, 
because you have like that leather and cloth sort of um, <laughs> materials and clothing, but um, you are using like also metal and a lot of wires and things like that. Not really for electronics most of the time, although there is a sort of techno-y system because of the, the robot dinosaurs. Like, you harvest the fucking chemical X and then chemical Y, and we know that if we mix those two, they explode. So bam, we have exploding arrows now. I need to do is to jam that. How do I do that? I can do that if I can get red over here. Which I can do. Alright. Uh, let me grab this in case I need it. Red and red. Jam the fan. Oh, there's a swoopy thing. I see. Okay, so I need to use the jammer on that. That. So I need to get the cube. Okay, so I need to blow the cube over. Gotcha. Gotta blow it over first. All right? Is it over here? Nope, not over there. It is there. No, not the jammer, the cube. Come on, Draggy. Get with the program. Bada bing, bada boom. This and this. All right, watch a cube over. This and this. Oh, whoops! I gotta get the jammer. No jammer left behind. All right, all right, all right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Cube it. Bam! Alright, so I know we do need a jammer to get the bonus star. Could I perhaps remove the jammer from this area? I'm not seeing any good spots, if I'm honest. Is there something over here? Hmm. Not really. The only thing I can think of is that I could somehow maybe get on that fan. Here. 
or rather, if I jam this, take this, this. Activate it, but don't think it will work like how I want it. close. I'm gonna go and see if one of the other puzzles has a better jammer to take out. Or if that is our only jammer puzzle. Multiply impossible ascension. Huh, I feel like this is gonna get real weird real fast. All right! Refreshed and unfilled. Let's see, what do we need? What do we need? We need a object. Get access to these objects. Hmm. Oh, I'm a fool. Duh. The fan. We have two cubes. Um, presume we need to put one cube here. Put this here. This here. Grab this. I'm gonna go here. 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 That doesn't work. Fine. All right. Cool. Um. Huh. Uh. Yeah. It depends. So, like, when the fans are on the ground like this, they'll like put them up to a certain level. They'll push them up. 
Um, you know what? I bet I can use both of these now that I think about it. Oh, except I can't put it up there. Fuck! There are some, like, fans that are angled, and those will blow you. Oh, I have three cubes. Snarf! Okay. Now let's try this again. So that one, that one, and that one. And we go a little hopsy daisy. Put that up there. We give it a little jump start. Fuck! like the second box really didn't do anything. Wait, let me double check. So, the second box did have an effect. Never mind. Question is, how do I get it much higher? How do we get much higher? It's like, I can't hold it while it's doing its effect. But likewise, I can't put the third cube up there and still put the thing up there. Can I just put it in? Ah! I was thinking too hard. Okay. That is it for this map. But we do need a jammer to be able to get the bonus star. Because we need the reflector. I'm just gonna... See if there is a jammer somewhere. So maybe we don't take a jammer out of the one bloody puzzle that has a jammer. There's so much beauty in these hidden corners of the world, even if they have no purpose. Perhaps they are beautiful because they have no purpose. Okay. I must climb! Alright. Well, 
I am not seeing any secret jammers. Which isn't good, but let's check the main island. I don't think we walked all the way around it. Okay. I was really thinking it would be under that bridge. That would have been a really cheeky place to hide one. Ooh. What is that? Oh, hey! It's an Ouroboros! Sometimes I think about the Middle Ages. About what it must have been like to live in the ruins of a great civilization. To know that so much has been lost. But then I remind myself that while the West sank into darkness, others picked up the pieces. That civilization always survived because the great insights of philosophy and science are not bound to any <laughs> one culture or people. They belong to all of us. And one day they'll belong to you. Welcome on by, Aurora. I hope your evening is going great. I see you, uh, noticed a thing. Ah, uh, did it not play? It's monitoring out the monitoring out the um, I think it was just those three. Let me hit. I don't know if I don't know if running a test this way will make it work. Huh. What if I just run the sound? Can I just test the sound to see if that works? Gods damn it. I know exactly why. I know why. I know why. I should have caught this earlier. I was already going through updating everything. Streamer bot had an update, so the version is different, which makes the audio hook miss it. Yep. Yep, that'll do it. There you go. Still got your Dora May. <laughs> um oh, oh, we got our we got our little funky person. Oh, you came back to keep me company? Okay then. Humor me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens. Then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? Uh, I feel like these are limited options. I feel like there there could have been, this could have been like a, a, a four option kind of thing. Because what's best for me, what's right. Because we got the... What's right 
starts us down the path of virtue ethics. What's best for me is more of um, uh, I can't think of a term for it. But I guess I don't. I don't know. It's a little, a little more selfish. Um, let's go with what's right. No great surprises there, but let's make things just a little clearer. So tell me, this obligation you feel, is it only applicable to the real world? Or does it apply here as well? Ah, the, uh, the old golden rule. Moral laws only apply under special conditions. Moral laws are universal. So that's where we get the, the golden rule that has cropped up in many places. Do unto others that which you would like be done unto yourself. But we have to remember the um, paradox of tolerance. Hence, moral laws only apply under special conditions. Does any reasoning underpin that conclusion? Or is this just a convenient thing to believe? Morality doesn't apply to a dream. Computer programs have no moral status. Justice can only exist in a society. I've changed my mind. Morals are universal. Alright, so of my three options, I'm definitely leaning more towards morality doesn't apply in a dream. Because I re definitely cutting out computer programs have no moral status. Um, just because there's nuance in that and like I wouldn't consider these entities programs. I would consider them, you know, sapient AIs that that are hurt people. Have a good lurk, Aurora. I always appreciate what you stop on by. Uh, justice can only exist in a society. I feel like that is putting more wait like in some in some ways of thinking about it kind of because you can like you can only really punish people if there is a group consensus so like you know casting people out or putting someone on latrine duty for messing up um, and then at, at a at a broader higher level of it there's the whole um, nation states um, tier sort of society where they have um, in theory they have a monopoly on violence which is then delegated to the certain persons and groups such as police etc etc I uh, definitely, definitely feel like morality doesn't apply to a dream how can you continue to make these radical assumptions with such assurances beyond me? How can you have the slightest confidence in what the real nature of this place is? Is uncertainty an excuse for immorality? If moral laws stand, they stand universally. I'll stake my moral standing on my actions here not counting. I don't like either of these answers. Oh, we'll go with the second one. Be it on your head, but okay. Let's put us let's put ideas that would be more at home on a dictator's desk aside for one moment and focus on the matter at hand. How would things be in your ideal world? What's your magic formula of choice to avoid all the mistakes that have been made before? Oh boy! More equals sh everyone share the better. All right, so we have we have kind of a communal. More goodness in the world, the better. All right, so we have our utilitarianism. Consequences don't matter. Our reasons do. Um, 
Um, it's always placed on the other side of utilitarianism. Um, I can never pronounce it right. Dit Ditunerism? Fuck. I probably butchered that. Um, I say no way to explain what I believe. I actually have to go with this one. Uh, because, so... Uh, it's, it's a bit cheeky. I know I grabbed a bunch of ph philosophers and then just did silly things with their names for my for the second set of books. But um, the second from the right, Epicurus, uh, that is actually one philosopher I read a little bit about um, that I specifically remember off the top of my head because I liked a lot of the ideas and they helped they helped frame or phrase some of the things that I, I usually think about things. So Epicurus um, is a Greek philosopher back in the time, um, basically like Socrates is, I want to say it was Socrates, was talking about Stoicism. Um, Epicurus is kind of the complete opposite of Epicureanism. Um, it can be thought of as a very old, um, probably you would put it under the, the umbrella of headed hedonism nowadays. Um, hedonism kind of gets a kind of gets a bad rap because everyone's first thought when they hear hedonism is you know they think orgies and drugs and everyone killing each other, whatever, anarchy, yada yada yada. But Epicureanism, um, like when you get down to it, it's sort of you want to do things that make you and other people happy. Um, it actually, um, at least going by the records that are still around, um, because a lot of his work was destroyed, um, going by those records, like physical, physical pleasures or things are actually like at the bottom tier, and it had a higher value put on like intellectual stuff. So like, just reading a good book. Um, having a conversation with some friends, um, things that are enjoyable to do. Um, you shouldn't deny yourself those pleasures. You should try and seek out those things that you like, that you enjoy. Um, not indulge them to excess because anything in excess harms you, you want to reach a state... I, again, these are philosophers, so they, they make up like specific words for meaning certain things, but you kind of want to reach a... Um, the, the end goal is you want to remove like your fear of death, not in a like YOLO kind of way, but like, hey, I am... I am mortal, I'm not going to live forever, but I should spend this time that I do have well. I should have a good time. Um, it's kind of, a, kind of a weird thing to sort of wrap your mind around and think the way of thinking about things, but it always kind of, kind of worked for me. So I see no way to explain what I can do. Ryzen, no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. Thank you for the snug scription, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening. That's right. Blame me for the fact your theory is too complex to express in neat aphorisms. Why don't you think a little harder? Maybe some new ideas will come to you. Less suffering in the world is better. Oh, here we go. Stoicism. Only by abstaining from pleasure can we discover the good. I don't think that's literally word for word stoicism. But if I remember correctly, that's sort of what it goes on. It, if I remember correctly, again, I'm not a professional philosophizer. Stoicism is focused internally on like you being a better person. Usually through like focusing on stuff. 
Let's see, true goodness can only be attained through enlightenment. Everyone should look out for their kin, no more than that. The more equal everyone's share of the goods, the better. The more goodness in the world, the better it is. Let's see, less suffering, more goodness. They seem like they're the same thing, but especially when you get into the weeds on philosophy, the, the focus and the nuances of the two can matter quite a bit. Consequences don't matter, the reasoning behind our actions does. I still don't see an option I can get behind. Um, these, this gives me more. Um, I'm gonna go with the more goodness, because that's closest to, closest to my thoughts. Ah, uh, that old chestnut. So, what is this goodness that you're seeking to maximize? Oh boy. Yeah, I figured we'd be we'd be going on to more of a utilitarian track. Cause I think I think that's really I mean they, they can't program every possible answer and your your big your big three utilitarianism, value ethics, and uh uh do the it's not determinism. You know what? Fucking No. Er. De Dan. Deontological. Deontological. I hate. I hate. D E U. That is just so hard for me to say. Um. I would say all but wealth. Economies are a construct. I'm gonna say basic goods like food and healthcare. That seems very simple. An odd pairing of ideas, but we'll ring them out and see what's what. So the world is better only when the total amount of resources in it is higher? doesn't matter who has them or what they're used for. Well, we need to share them. I s suppose then you ascend the magical tower and wind up in its ideal world. The people there celebrate your arrival and offer you an equal share of the cash, as is only right. Moments later, you are thrown out of the local shop because newcomers aren't welcome. You are denied accommodation because your money is tainted. But don't worry. You'll have just as much money as everyone else. Is this the world you were dreaming of? Now, see, you're getting it twisted, mixed around. See, in my ideal world, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't, we wouldn't need this. You know, people would be cooking because they want to cook. So you need to eat because you're hungry. Uh, but I also said food and healthcare, not money. Uh, you're getting out. You're getting me a little twisted around here. Yeah, there we go. You and you aren't twisting my words. Am I really? I think you may have twisted the value of money. You know, there are shed loads of broken theories less ridiculous than the one you're chewing through. How about I give you a bit of space to consider them? Oh, and if the real world turns out to be everything you imagined, do me a favor and leave me here. Wow. Um, also, as we're about to start, in case you need to adjust volume. Thanks. You know what? Let me. I can turn the ad. Maybe the ad thing is working again. It's been, it's been a couple updates. I think they might have fixed it. Ah! Alright, so I have a gun. I need to jam that gun. Actually, can I jam it from inside the puzzle? Do I even need to remove it? 
think I do. It's like over that direction. Um. The cube. Nope, not what I meant to do. Nope, not that way. Hmm. Can we climb up? That's not the way to do it. Hmm. Actually, what about in there? Can I climb up that? jump over, I want to jump Arr. Hmm. Might need to reset. I really don't want to though, because then I have to resolve it. Tiny holes. Where are the tiny holes? Hold on. I feel like I'm going crazy. the tiny holes on the fucking... Yeah, I can't see them from this angle. So lined up with that tree. So we got the tree.
I should be able to jam it. Sorry about that. Hmm. Is there... Was that my only puzzle that had... No, I had a jammer here too. Oh! Alright, yeah, I made that. I was... I was twisting myself into knots. Alright. Easy peasy. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get this. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can just get the blue laser over to the red one? Not this one, not this map. I'm looking for... No. This one. Yeah! we go! Bonus star! Level 1 complete. It's too easy. Ah! I lived. I'm okay. Amazing. Alright, now let's move on to world two. Oh, what can one expect to do? What's in a world two? Who knows what surprises world two will find? One bonus star. All right, all right. What you got for me to read this time? Family, last days, looking kind of sad. For those of you who have faithfully followed this vlog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I couldn't spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them, but in the end, they are my family. 
They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They said awful things to me, and I said awful things to them. But that doesn't change who we are. The fact is, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. But we don't. So I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Uh, I know... <clears throat> I think the key here, part here is, uh, is the, those you love. I know some people may not have good relations with their family for very valid, valid reasons. And that is good and fine. Um, I know I cut out half of my family. So I would say this is more of like uh, little differences of opinion kind of friction. Um, not they refuse to acknowledge my existence um, kind of situation. <laughs> Those ones can just burn. Last days. You know what the oddest thing is about all of this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused. We spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like, it was completely normal. Like, that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess, what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help. But I didn't expect to feel like this at all. You know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck, Alan. Yes. Love from George. Good for them. Okay. Hmm, we got a bunch of ruins. Are you hiding something for me? Suspicious. Hmm. Oh, hey. Looks like this will be our first puzzle with the Praise the Sun. ladder. <laughs> Interesting. Fucking the gargoyles of mood just kind of out. Hmm. So ultimately I need to get two cubes up here, I believe.
Oh, okay, so I hold it up. I guess that might work. Can I put anything on it? I see. Alright, let's just kind of see what this does. So if I grab mine... Alright, jumped on it. I see. Okay, so that didn't work. So we'll go over here. Give them some time. And we'll walk over here. Walk back over here. Then we walk back over here. Alright. Yar slag. Wait, am I floating right through it? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I think I need to. I think I need to stand on a box to get that extra height. I'll get on here. I'll go back over here. And I go back over here. So good. Good so far. No! No! I'm just a little bit short! No! No! What about now? Yep. Let's see. Same levels. Um. Oh yeah, once I get one box up there, I can just do another recording and easily. All right. Come here. Wait a few seconds. Walk over here. Hop on up, wait a few seconds, and we're done. Alright, so I'm going to need to grab this, grab this, it's on you. Gods below and ever burning! longer. So I need to grab one cube, put it on top of the tray, go grab the other cube, jump on top of that cube.
There we go. Plenty of time this time. Thanks for the help, me. Mission accomplished. Hmm. The short wall. I see. What does it matter that I scribble my contempt on these walls if I'm still surrounded by them? Uh, dog is not happy. Um. No, you fool! Past me, you idiot! No! What are you doing? There we go. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. This recording is a little bit finicky when we're doing this stuff. You gotta run, Johnny, gotta run, 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 run from the crowd. You gotta run, Johnny, gotta run, run, run from the law. Swing. Good stuff. I feel like the bonus star is probably going to be in that big old cathedral. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting. A ditch and a fence. Huh. I see. Shoot the blue laser. You know there is. Here. 
not. I think ultimately I need to get the cube and the laser on top of a dude holding this. So let's go down here. Let's wait for about 10 seconds. We're going to go up. Jump up here. Stuff. I see. Your wisdom grows, but be wary of temptation. Okay, so we know where our bonus star is now. Not sure if I'm supposed to be able to jump over here. These are certainly high fences. I wonder if I can just jump over though. Give it a try. Why not? Riding high tonight, boys. Whee! All right, that was a very simple bonus star. You'll love to see it. Good shit. All right, we're two for two today. Eloheim is inconsistent. I don't trust him. Ah, shit. When your yes men are doubting you, ooh, you got a problem. Things are not gonna go good for you. Question. Suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How would we explain that? It's obviously like a digital time capsule. An electric library of all the crazy stuff the humans ever did. Left behind to warn other species to stay way the way. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed and then they didn't. They probably wouldn't do it all over again. Well, that's kind of... Grim. Knock, knock, knocking on Cathedral's door. Oh, was that all the puzzles? No. This one. Don't worry. If you're anything like me, you just need to take your time and the solutions will present themselves.
pretty fine. Pretty fine. How about you, Catbeam? How's your Friday going? I hope you have had a great week. Not enough time. I think I need to see if there is something else. Pretty sure I saw a cube. Yep, we got a cube. Alright, so how would one go about acquiring a cube? First, we block this guy. Feel, but hopefully it's all behind you, and the future works out better. That's good. You know, even it always. It always kind of sucks whenever a group breaks up, no matter the reason. Um, hopefully, though, you at least have some positive experiences uh, you're able to take out of it. And that you are able to overall groan from it. That's really all we can hope for, is a continual walk forward of progress. Glad you have good some ideas. But certainly, I know there's some. I've had some experiences where things just kind of implode, and then you don't really know what to do. That can be a little frustrating. There's just one star there. Yeah, yeah. But having specific things to be working on um, is always good, especially if you want to continue continue making things. Um, one thing I always uh, been like drilled Before into my mind. Before the age of oh. chaos, there were other gods, old gods. But for all their power, they could not save their world. Thus, I was made, and I shall preserve this world forever for you and your generations. That is my purpose. Dang, Eloheim, you're getting a little, a little power crazy, uh, fluffing up your self-importance there, mate. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I think that was jammed in my mind, um, and it works for a lot of stuff as far as setting goals is... Uh, uh, smart, uh, specific, measurable, achievable, um, I think it's repeatable, and then whatever the fuck T is supposed to be. But basically, um, you want to make sure when you're setting goals, like, you have a very clear thing you're trying to achieve with it. Um, so like one, one of mine has been like, I want to ride my bike more. Okay. So, ride my bike once a week. That's that's a specific thing. Easily, easy to, easy to know if I've been... Easy to hold myself accountable to it. You know? Either I ride my bike or I don't. You know? It's kind of binary. Um, measurable. You know? Once a week. That's easy to measure. You know? Um, achievable. Once a week. That's pretty reasonable. If I did like 
ride my bike for five hours every day while doing a full-time job and side projects. That's... That's not... That's not achievable. Um, and then repeatable. Um, building and breaking habits are very difficult things. But... If you're trying to build a habit, you want to make sure it's something that is small enough and reasonable for you to do it in a repetitive fashion. Um, so anytime you have like big things you want to do, breaking it up into smaller pieces can work wonders as far as making progress to that ultimate um, big goal. Where's the blue laser? Oh, over there. I see. Uh, I don't know what this does, so we'll just hit like all the lasers. Certainly need the cube. All right. There we go. Just need a better angle. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I'm doing. I mean, it's. I uh, I didn't take uh, any break over the Christmas and New Year's, unlike most people, because usually it's not a lot of work, and I can still rest. But circumstances conspired that it was not restful at all. So I'm kind of taking a delayed break um, as best I can this next week. So I'm really looking forward to that and just de-stressing. Doing some more work on my side projects. So there's a, still a good bit of stuff going back and forth on. Hmm. I feel like I wasn't supposed to do that. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like that may have barked me. I haven't died in a while, but there we go. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you don't um, you don't burn out because ugh, burnout is not good. But hey, computer science is certainly something that is a very Here, those wide who are worthy field. may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers, but their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. IT's a very wide field. 
things. There is always something that could be fun and interesting to work on. Is there another jammer? Maybe there's a way I can get this out, actually. Yeah, there we go. It has been pretty good. We're a little over halfway through it, if I were to spitball things. Mostly this round of worlds, um, the tower, I'll probably get like a normal or default ending, and then I will take a crack at the bonus stars, which are absolutely new to me. Bonus stars over there. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I keep uh keep getting distracted trying to work on the puzzle. <laughs> Close the fan back over. You know, I actually have not played Celeste. That might be one I also need to uh, put on my list, because I know it's pretty darn good. Right, so I need to get a cube over, I guess. Well, what, what's the point of me getting the redirection lasers if there's no blue laser to redirect with? What the hell? But yeah, uh, one fun thing I found, not really CS, but more, more IT is so sad, but uh, the local bot I've been using does have like the ability to do C sharp stuff. It's been kind of fun dipping my toes a little bit in there. Real programming is still. Oh, there's. <sighs> there's the laser. But what's the point of the laser? Where's the opening into the bonus star? Ah, okay. I see. Or rather, I see, but I don't see. How the flip do I get? So that blows. I would need to have that and that active at the same time, maybe? But I don't think that's possible. The other thing would just be to get that jammer over, actually, now that I think about it. What if I just do that? What if that's all I need to do? Just... Boop. I'm trapped. I can't stop being this. Eyes, hands, legs, trapped, always seeing the same, can't stop the input, can't stop the Do not think. Simply be. You two deserve each other. Featherless biped. Fucking amazing handle. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's very ethereal. Hmm. I 
feel like I can just parkour over to that star. Maybe? Nah, I think maybe I need a cube. Cube, come with me. Come with me, and you'll be a square of enormous proportions. We're so close. Oh, come on. Can I maybe go up the rocks? And fortunately, the jumping is up. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, I slipped. get to there. Hold on. What's that? What's over there? Okay. Um I might need to reset. Oh, no, it did reset. Never mind. Let me grab this. Block that. We need to blue laser that. No. Put this on here. Do 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 do. Put this here. Let's grab the jammer. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's get box number two. Cool beans, cool beans. Laser. All right, we want a box. We want to get the jammer. It certainly has a very smooth. Um, curve. As far as the difficulties the puzzles. Like, we're getting pretty close to the... we're getting pretty far in the end, so of course they're gonna be a little bit more tricky. It's tricky. Tricky the rock to rock to rock to rock to rock is tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky. Anyway. <laughs> what is over there? I feel like there's something in that area I need. But I don't know how I can get over there. Actually, wait. Maybe...
No way, I need to I need to push it over first. I don't know, I uh, certainly have I don't know. I feel like I would get too stressed out if I if I looked at numbers, so I've always just to luff them off. <laughs> if I lose something out? Why does this one exist? Where would that go? Why would I launch something over there? No, I didn't go that way. This one here. Hmm. I thought I could get them to hit at the same time and have it float mid-air, but I guess not. I wonder. What if I use the boxes? God damn it. Get back over there! Like, if I put this here... Let's move this back a bit. I don't think that's going to get high enough. Am I... Am I dumb? Am I... Am I a fool? Why am I like this? Oh man. Hmm, a third. Nah, that's no problem. It's always fine when anybody hangs out and chills. No, I'm hardly the most entertaining person. So I can hardly hold it against anyone if they themselves aren't much of a talker or whatever, whatever. Fuck it! Ah, I feel like I need that third box. I feel like that's the key. Because then I could jump. I could I could stack the boxes and jump over. Oh okay. Okay, I need I need to get a blue laser to here. I have one redirector. 
I have a second redirector that I misplaced because I am a fool. I am an absolute fool! Where did I put it? There it is. Alright, um... Actually, hold on. I do this. So close, this angle! Ah! Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, actually, hold on, I have an idea. Grab it from outside the map and then put it in a better spot. Hmm. Hmm. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I feel like that's a little too high. Grab the other box. Maybe I can make it work. So we got one box. No! Alright, where is our other box? Where did I put it? Ah, it's in there, of course. Of course, of course. Of course, of course, my kingdom for a horse. Alright. Eh, good enough. 